Lajuana McRae against Rambus and Worthy. Sampson against Kareem at center. Level will go against Magic and Lloyd against Scott. The Lakers have beaten this club 14 straight times in Houston, and overall, they've beaten them 19 of the last 21 times. That's scary. That's scary if you go against them in the playoffs. I'll tell you, because the odds have got to change someplace. <laughs> well, this is a good team that they're that they've beaten 19 out of 21 times. I'll say it is. Our true value winner for tonight's game, John Hill of Santa Ana, and uh, stop by any true value store. He'll get a Laker T-shirt and also be in the drawing and maybe go to a playoff game out of town. All right, the ball is tipped by Kareem. Comes to the sideline on Olajuwon. He's got it with a heavy knee brace. Cross court to Lloyd. Underneath he comes. Puts it up and in. I told you he could fill it up, but I didn't think that fast. Yeah, the Rockets got the tip and the bucket off of the fast break. And they'll have the ball to start the fourth quarter because of it. Two to nothing is the score. And Olajuwon, of all people, got the tip after Sampson tapped it to him. Magic Johnson's got the ball. Olajuwon is guarding Rambus. In low it goes to Kareem. Guarded by... Here's a jump shot outside by Scott. No good. Sampson's guarding Kareem. The rebound is to Sampson. He averages 11 and a half a game. He's very slow getting down the floor. Now he's there. Gives the ball over the right side to McRae. Rodney down the middle. In deep. Throws up a right-hand jumper. Four to nothing before you can bat your eye. Played 35 seconds. And the Rockets come out of blazer. Magic Johnson comes with the ball in the front court in front of the Laker bench. Terminate the dribble. Magic on the simulcast out to Rambus. Brings it to Scott. Drives the base. He beats Lloyd. And an eighth slam dunk. Well, that was a very nice move by Byron Scott, and the Rockets were very slow to come over and pick him up. They never did pick him up, really. Four to two is the score. The Los Angeles Lakers trade on. Allen Level's got the ball in the front court. Gives it out of front to Lloyd. He can shoot from distance. He drives the lane. He's in deep. The ball knocked away. Free ball out of bounds off Rambus. Actually, he just fumbled the ball, and then Rambus reached up and hit it out of bounds. He spiked it, didn't he? Yep. Thought he was down at the beach in the summertime. Four to two, the Lakers trail it here in the opening minutes. Now we've got level with the ball. Level dribbles by Magic all the way. Put it up and in beautifully. Talk about slow to make the pickup. Yeah, we've talked about Allen Level being one of the quickest guys in the league. Six to two, the Lakers are behind, and the ball comes to Rambus, top of the key. Worthy hasn't even seen the ball yet. He doesn't even know who makes that ball yet. The ball in low to Kareem. Swing left, shoot right. Ten-footer, good, he's fouled. Ralph Sampson guarding Kareem. Sampson gets the foul. It's six to four, and Kareem will go to the line, averaging 40 and a half points a game against this club. Boy, well, Ralph was really leaning on Kareem's back, and what created the foul was when Kareem, instead of backing into Ralph completely, took that step out away from the basket. It looked like Ralph gave him a push. Kareem misses the free throw. The rebound is to Sampson, his second of the game. He's a good ball handler. Gives the ball to Allen Level, and the Rockets still lead six to four after a minute and a half of play. Ball pounced into Elijah Wan, batted away by Kareem, picked in the garbage by Level. His 20 footers an air ball by one. Taken on the hop by Rambus to Magic. Magic's three on three. Now it's three against five as they make a good transition defensively. Magic comes over to the three point line, gives it to Rambus. His pass inside broken up by McCray, but it bounces back to Rambus, luckily. To Worthy. He's seen the ball once, and he has fouled. Blocking foul, McCray. As the first First time in a minute and 48 seconds, Worthy's touched the ball. Kirk tried to get it down inside to him. McCray knocked it away, and they went right back again. So we go with Worthy out of bounds and a full 24 on the clock. It's into Magic Johnson, top of the key. Magic hasn't unleashed any shot yet. The ball over to Scott. He's fired twice, made one. Scott yo-yoing up and down, looks into Kareem, takes it in there. Here comes double coverage from Lloyd. They give it back to Scott, who is alone. His 18-footer no. The rebound is off to Kareem. Scored! Ralph Sampson was right in front of Kareem, and Ralph turned around to the official as if to say, did you see him on my back? All of those things are true, but Ralph did not do any good job of boxing out at all. Six to six is the score. The ball to McCray. McCray in low to Sampson. Swing left, right hand hook, a 10-footer, no. Rebound, Sampson, beautiful play. He tries to shoot it, and he is fouled. Two-shot foul. I would imagine Scott will be called. That's right. Oh, what a rebound. See how tiny he made Byron look on that play as he went up for that rebound? Byron had jumped up, and Ralph just went completely above him with both hands outstretched. It's a super play by the ex-Virginia star. Swung into the basket and got hammered. Ralph did. He's averaging 19 and a half points a game. Kareem averages 23 and a half. The free throw by Sampson is no good. And that is characteristic of his free throwing. He's only 64%. Chick Hearn with Keith Erickson. Jimmy Pell's our statistician. The second free throw is good, and the Rockets lead 7 to 6. Magic coming down the floor. Magic's got to take a shot here pretty soon, huh? Bounce the ball to Worthy in low against McCray. Man on man. Worthy stops, brings it out to Magic. Magic almost put it up from 20. Now he will. A 20-footer on the way good. Nothing to it. Listen to this crowd tonight. They're really into it. Eight to seven is the score. Ball bounced in low. The Lakers lead it. It goes into Elijah Wan. Shot no good, but a foul. The foul is by Rambus. 
Look at the size of that brace that Akeem has on his right knee. Mid calf all the way up to mid thigh. You got a chattel that important, Keith. You got to protect him, boy. No question about that. Akeem that time turning into the lane and Kirk just really hammered that arm. It's on his right knee, folks, not that little one on his left knee. 8-8 eight, eight is the score as Elijah Wan makes the free throw. Like uh, Samson, he's not a good free thrower. 66% on the year. He averages just about the same as Kareem, 23 and a half. The free throw by Elijah Wan gives the Rockets the lead, 9-8. Magic coming down the floor with Billy Fitch, the 15-year veteran looking on. Fitch came to this club from uh, Boston. Now over the right side, Scott in three-point country. Scott looks at Worthy, gives it to him. He drives the lane. He's in deep. He puts it up and in. Great move. Nope. Very late again, picking James up. He went right by Elijah Wan. Elijah Wan's leaping ability probably hampered by that brace and the sore leg. The ball out in front to McCray. In low to Sampson. Cross court beautifully to level. Out in front, top of the key to Lloyd. Back to level. Right hand, 20-foot jumper. No. Rebound, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Sampson takes it away. Then Rambus takes it away from Sampson and drops it out of bounds. That play that time was very reminiscent of the one at the other end where Kareem came from behind Ralph to get that rebound. Lakers lead for the second time in the game. It's 10 to 9. Now the inbound pass to Sampson. Sampson agile, clever, talented. Now level looks into Sampson. He's against Kareem. Out of front top of the key to Lewis Lloyd. Drive the lane. Stop. 13-footer over Scott. No good. The rebound underneath. A great play by Elijah Wan who's fouled in the act of shooting. Did not score. Boy, there's not much wrong with his leg, I'll tell you. Pretty mobile on that play. Kirk was cutting to the basket that time to get that defensive rebound and not thinking that Elijah Wan was, was uh, very mobile. Elijah Wan beat him to the ball that time and Kurt hammered him again. They're showing on the scoreboard they called it on Magic. If so, it would be his second according to the scoreboard. I don't believe it. I think it's Rambus. The scoreboard has got to be wrong. We called on in check. Now they've changed it to 31 instead of 32. But that's two fouls on Rambus. Lucas is not available. Who will play back up center tonight? Not me. 11 to 10. As both free throws are good. The Lakers are behind by one. Magic Johnson's got the ball. Looks into Kareem. Takes it in there. He knocks down a high pass. Grabs it. Holds it up. Gives out to Worthy. Worthy over to Scott. Scott's 20-foot jumper is straight and good. Twelve, eleven. the Lakers grab the lead, and Sampson comes to front court. Give the ball to McCray and screens. McCray's 16-footer behind the screen is perfect. McCray did absolutely nothing in the last meeting, one with the Lakers in Houston, but he's a good basketball player. 13 to 12, the Rockets lead it. Magic Johnson with the ball. Along the base goes Worthy. Magic can't get it to him, but now it does. Worthy turns in the lane, eight-foot jumper and away. No, great rebound by Sampson. He's out of the backcourt. Left side to level. Level all the way. Throw it up. Good. Basket counts. Follow Worthy. Oh, wasn't that a beautiful play all the way around? Ralph Sampson with a tremendous Tremendous rebound. He put that ball on the floor, started going the other way, and a line drive pass right to Allen Level, just past the half-court line, who rode it all the way to the basket and got a, the hoop and a foul on James Worthy. Ralph dribbled that ball three or four times and threw a bullet out ahead to Level. Boy, I like that, Samson. He is something special. Isn't that amazing, the things that he can do at 7-4? Mm. The free throw is no good. I don't think he'd be nearly as good if he put on weight. You know that? I agree Some with people you. think he's too thin. I don't. Here's the ball to Worthy. He can put on a little muscle. He's not going to be a sumo wrestler. Here's the ball in low. <laughs> foul on Lloyd holding Magic Johnson. You don't want to send him to Japan, huh? Tomorrow night, a great, great boxing show here at the Forum. Stroh's Championship Boxing. Tickets are available. The inbound pass to Magic Johnson. This is a simulcast, ladies and gentlemen, from the fabulous Forum in Inglewood, California. Wherever you are around the world watching, Enjoy. Ball into Kareem. Swing left in the lane. They rake it away. Lewis Lloyd stole the ball. It's picked up by Elijah Wan. Lakers first turnover. Now Lloyd gives it rather uh, level. Gives the ball back to McCray and back to level. Level in the contest so far has four points, making half his four shots. Lloyd down the middle. Lays to Sampson. He puts it up and in, despite the fact that A.C. Green got a hand on it. And not Ralph off balance, but he was still such an athlete. He was able to get that ball. I'm out. Sampson's already got four rebounds to go with his three points. The Lakers have been totally outplayed so far. The Lakers' offense has been uh, pretty much uh, in the Kareem or an outside jump shot by the Lakers. Now Magic Johnson's got the ball. Around the pick comes Worthy. Now out in front above the three-point line, Deuce Scott has got the Magic at the three-point line. Magic's 22-footer is good. Boy, he's shooting that well from long range. In several recent games, 17 to 14, the Lakers trail it. The timeout paid dividends. In playing Sampson now is A.C. Green guarding Sampson. That may be trouble for the kid from Oregon State. Now the ball comes to Sampson. Sampson says, hello, Rook. I'm going to eat you up. 
The ball in low to McCray. McCray down the middle. His shot is blocked by James Worthy. It's taken by Magic Johnson. Magic in the front court, and look at that. Five defenders beat him back. The Lakers were coming down four on five. So Magic slows it up and waits for Kareem to set a pick at the top of the key. Over the left side goes Magic. Magic gets a screen by Kareem and shoots another 20-footer. Good again. He gets him in bunches. 17 to 16. The Los Angeles Lakers make uh, the timeout really pay dividends with four in a row. Ball in low to Olajuwon away from Green. Score easily. Now that time, Green was guarding Olajuwon. In either case, the rookie's going to learn something about the art of defense tonight. <laughs> or the lack thereof. 19 to 16 is the score. It'll help in the with future. The Darn right it'll help in the future. Maybe this year. Bounce pass to Green at the baseline from Magic. Back to Magic. He's made three outside jumpers in a row. In the Green. Fakes. Yeah. He puts Olajuwon away. Samson blocks a shot. No goaltending, they say. And the ball is taken by Samson. The level. Level pulls up and shoots an 18-footer that's in and out. Heartbreak rebound is the foul. It's going to be on Samson, I would think. Nope, they're going to call it on A.C. Green. Didn't it look like Ralph Sampson had a hold of Magic right around the waist? Wow. And they did call it that way. That's his second. Four team uh, foul. Boy, after AC gave a, a fake to Elijah Wan, he thought he had clear sailing, and there came Ralph. From the ceiling. All right, 19 to 16. The Lakers are behind. Magic Johnson has the ball. Out in front, give to Byron Scott. Screen by Green. Scott behind it. Scott bouncing low to Kareem. He's in very low. Turns loose a six-foot right-hand jumper. No rebound. Green, no. Oh. He made a foul. They pushed off. Easy play to call. They might have called it on somebody else. Somebody pushed off. It's AC Green. AC. Yeah, I thought so. That's free throw time for Akeem. That's Akeem going to the line. Akeem the dream. Pat Riley along the sideline, Billy Burtka and Gary Vitti, assistant coach and trainer respectively there. And here is Akeem in the ball game. Six points. His fifth free throw of the game is good. He doesn't look much like a 66 percenter. He made all five of them. 20 to 16. 19 points, nine rebounds in 22 minutes last night. And it's now 21 to 16. The inbound pass to Magic Johnson. Magic come down the floor, favoring the western sideline. Into Kareem. Kareem drives underneath for a reverse slam dunk. Oh, he gets up for these guys. The old said to the new, look out, kid, here I come. 21-18, Sampson says, look out, old man, here I come. He's got it, turns five-footer short. Rebound, McCray is good. Nice play. That's six points for him, making three out of four shots. 23 to 18, the Lakers trail it in the first quarter. Magic comes to the right side. Magic brings it out top to key to AC Green and over to Scott. Scott's 20-footer on the way is good. And so is he. He's made three of five shots from distance. He had one slam in there. 23 to 20 is the score. And the ball to the real man, Sampson. Stop for an 18-footer that's no good. The rebound is to Kareem. Sampson was under the basket by the time it came down. Magic coming four on three. Magic down the middle. Holds it up. Still holds it. Says help cap. And the captain comes from the backcourt and gets the ball. Gives it back to Magic Johnson. 420 left to play in the first quarter. Pass into Kareem. Swing left. Shoot right over Elijah Wan. And score. I wonder why they took Samson off. I'll tell you why. Because he's got two fouls. That's why they took him off of Kareem. And Akeem played in the same way he did in Houston when yes. Kareem had 46. Poorly. 23 to 22. <laughs> the Rockets are in front. Now the ball goes to Akeem. Nice, nice man. Ball over the right side, standing on the three-point line is level, near the baseline. Bounce in low to Akeem. He's down the middle. He throws up a bank of six and banks it over. A.C. Green. He's got ten points. Good thing they brought him. 25 to 22. Maybe not good for the Lakers. Now Magic Johnson's got it. The Lakers are behind. Magic brings a Scott shooting very well tonight. He's at the base. He shoots a 16-footer. It's in there. Wow. What a fake. And he got level up in the air and lost him. 25-24. Cooper will be into the Lakers when it's dead. Level's got the ball to the front court. Three and a half left to play. The crowd is honoring Coop when they see him come down the way and strip off those longies. Now the ball given off to Elijah Wan. On the simulcast, a bad pass. McCray saves it. Gives it into Sampson. Down the middle. Around Kareem. Lay it up and in beautifully. That's his second field goal, his fifth point. 27 to 24. The Rockets have led, except for a brief second or two. Now with the ball, Magic. Magic's been shooting extremely well outside. Worthy cuts through the key. He hadn't seen the ball much. Comes to the baseline. In the air. Eight-foot jumper. No. The rebound is off to Sampson, and the foul is on A.C. Green. Free throw time. Could be trouble for the Lakers with Kurt Rambis leaving the ball game with two fouls, and now A.C. has two in a hurry when Maurice Lucas not available. This game is coming to you live from the fabulous forum.
Laker basketball is brought to you by Chevrolet, and Chevrolet announces 9.9% GMAC financing on the Cavalier, Camaro, Spectrum, Monte Carlo, and Caprice. See your Chevrolet dealer today. And by Discount Tire Stores, offering you quality tires and service at discount prices. Sampson makes the free throw as it bounced around and came back in, 28-24. At halftime, Al Bianchi, the great assistant coach for the Phoenix Suns, will be with Keith on radio. And, of course, Jeff Witcher will have a special feature with the Laker girls. And also on TV at halftime, Maurice Lucas will join Keith Erickson. So it's 29-24. Sampson makes both free throws, and the big guys are making quite a few free throws. Olajuwon and Sampson together. The ball into Kareem. Kareem has to reach for it. Down the middle of Green. He's there. He pumps it up. Reverse layup is good! Oh! It came out of there. It came out. Uh, woo, talk about heartbreak. That baby was falling down in. Olajuwon got the foul. When we come back after this timeout, it'll be two free throws for A.C. Green, putting him in a position he doesn't exactly care about because he's not a good free thrower. A fabulous Laker Wise cookbook on sale here at the Forum. You fans that are here listening to us on radio can pick one up out in the lobby at halftime. Watch Boy, that ball on the rim. A.C. sure gave a nice fake to get Akeem Olajuwon up in the air. That ball dipped down in, and to A.C.'s chagrin, dipped back out. Magic Johnson and Pat Riley are going to have individual basketball camps this summer. For details, call the forum. Oh, the Lakers, this is only their second attempt to free throw. Nine out of 11 are the Rockets, and nine out of 10 are Samson and Olajuwon. Lakers 0 for 2. 72% field goals in his last four games. AC shooting well there. Free throwing, he makes one of two. And it's now 29 to 25. The Los Angeles Lakers are still trailing. 2.47 to play in the first quarter. Sampson's got the ball. Sampson the ball in the front court. This club definitely so thinks they can beat the Lakers in the playoffs. Baseline, Lloyd, 20-foot jumper, no. Rebound, Elijah Wan. He clears out a path and slam dunks it. He moved A.C. Green like he was a toothpick. 31-25, to Elijah Wan now with 12 points in this first quarter. Boy, he's making quite a recovery in a hurry. Here's the ball in low to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem and the Lakers seem a little bit confused on offense. A hook shot by Kareem. He's not confused. An eight-footer for his 10th point. Now we go the other way with the Lakers trailing by four. Lewis Lloyd from Drake University. Out in front to McRae from Louisville. Bounce out in front to Oklahoma City's pride of yesteryear. And that is level. He shoots a 12-footer, no good. The rebound is off. And a foul loose ball is going to be called against Kareem, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That's his first. And Sampson wrestling a little bit for the ball. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the world champion Lakers basketball network. You're watching the Prime Ticket Network, Southern California's new regional sports channel. The Prime Ticket Network, the hottest ticket in town. The free throw is good by Sampson. He is four for five. Olajuwon is six for six, and they're leading 32 to 27. Kareem has 10 points. Sampson now has eight, looking for nine. Got it. So... 33 to 27, the Lakers trail it by six. That's the biggest lead of the game for the Rockets. 33-27. Cooper brings the ball over to Worthy. Magic has gone out of the contest. Out of front, Green, and Green gives the ball to Cooper. Cooper against Lewis Lloyd. Cooper in front of the Laker bench near the eastern sideline. Cooper and the Lakers look confused still. It's into Kareem. Back to Coop. Three-point country. Back to Kareem. One on the clock. A hook of 12 is good. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has made six out of seven shots. The master. 33 to 29 is the score. Now the ball into Sampson, double teamed by Cooper. Out to the open man level who fumbles, retrieves. Level to southpaw by nature. Looks into Sampson again, a right hander. Now the ball, Lou Lloyd, over to Elijah Wan. A one two punch, huh? In the air. 15 foot jumper, no good. The rebound is off. Great play by Scott. Oh, Just when Sampson reached for it, and then when he's done, tried to push off to start down the floor, he stepped out of bounds. Looked like Ralph had position that time, was trying to go up for the rebound, and Kareem had a hold of him. He couldn't jump. Mike McGee coming into the ball game. Scott goes out, and Scott played very well, making four of six field goals. And Michael McGee coming in is 6'6", 207, fifth year. Instant point, they call him. Inbound pass is to Lewis Lloyd, guarded by Cooper. Lloyd looks in, takes it to Sampson. Sampson turn, takes on Green, shoots a 12-footer, no good. The rebound is off to McGee. Michael McGee makes his presence felt immediately. Magic will be in when it's dead. We've got a minute left to play in the first quarter. Michael Cooper has the ball in the attacking 47 feet of this 94 by 50 hunk of wood owned by Jerry Buss. In playing the post is Kareem. Single coverage by Sampson. Kareem loves it. He'll hook over him. Here it comes. He didn't do it. He gets to Worthy. He'll come down the middle and slam dunk. Kareem had his option. Boy, did he ever. Shall I make the hook or give it to James for a slam? He did the right thing. 33 to 31. The Lakers trail by two. 
The Lakers have made the last four. Level dribbles around McGee. Level in deep. Level throws it up. Misses it. The rebound is up. Here comes Worthy. He got it away from Sampson. Worthy dribbling the ball. Loses it to Elijah Wan. Elijah Wan to Sampson. Slam. How about Akeem Elijah Wan with a bad knee, supposedly, stealing that ball on the dribble? His knee looks very healthy to me. I think they're just keeping it warm in that big thing. 35-31 is the score. He sure looks good. The Lakers are behind by four as Cooper looks for somebody to give to like Worthy, and it's intercepted. McCray steals it. The other end, linked the court pass to Lloyd. Lloyd all the way. Foul. Cooper, he did not score. Who made sure of it? Houston does not. Does not have a turnover in the game. That's a spectacular number. Lakers have four. That's a good play by McCray, huh? Made a terrific defensive play, and then a great two-handed outlet pass over the top of Cooper to Lewis Lloyd, streaking to the other end, and Coop made sure he wasn't going to get an easy two. Go That's to the line and earn him. Very hard pass to make, that distance. Two-hand shove pass from the chest. Very hard. With two guys on the fly, yeah. you've got to get it over one and into the hands of the other. One free throw good, two free throws good, and they're living at the free throw line. 37 to 31. They have made 13 of 15 free throws. The Lakers have made one point at the free throw line, so the Lakers have made more baskets. But that doesn't count. The whole thing does. Magic with the dribble. Magic three seconds underneath the green shot blocked by Sampson again. So Green will eat leather for a month if Sampson's in the game. That's his second block on him, and it looked like he had a great, great basket opportunity. Kareem in the ball game to this point. 12 points, two rebounds, and he's six out of seven from the field. Having a pretty good night for him with 12 points in the game. Yeah, in the first two games against him, he shot 69%. And Akeem Olajuwon doing pretty well himself with 12 points, two rebounds, and three out of four from the field. Great young player. Second year. Can you believe that? 23 years old. He's only Magic Johnson. Basketball for five years. Yep. Magic Johnson with the ball in the front court. He's against Robert Reed, making his first appearance in the ball game. Robert Reed is 6'8", 215. Now the ball out to A.C. Green, dribbling against Peterson. Jim, I'm from Minnesota. Second-year man. Magic dribbling the ball. And here Kurt picked up his third. Foul is against Kurt Ramis. Illegal block. And Kurt is playing center right now, guarding Ralph Sampson. There's about 100 tickets left for Tuesday night's game against Portland, so I'd get them tomorrow if I were you at Ticketmaster or at the Forum. Just a few single tickets left. And now here's a whistle and a blocking foul on somebody. Is this on Ramis? Either Magic or Kurt. Bruce Alexander makes the call. They Boy. call on Rambus. He's got four. That's all for him. Lucas is not available, so it's going to be a long night. Kareem, fortunately for the Lakers, only has one personal foul. He's liable to play a lot of minutes tonight. 37 to 31 is the score. The Lakers trail it, and the Rockets in good shape. Now the ball out to Sampson, guarded by A.C. Green. Bounce in low. They get to Robert Reed. Turner shoots over Cooper. 17-footer is magnificent. What a nice shot. When you talk about Magic getting them in bunches, Robert Reed is that way. When he gets a couple, he can go for a lot. That's the biggest lead of the game, eight points, and Magic Johnson's got the ball. Magic out in front against Robert Reed, and the Rockets trying to put an end to this domination of themselves by the Lakers. In playing the low post is Green. He sets a pick now for Coop. Coop, 20-foot right-hand jumper. O'Connor goes. It didn't go. He was fouled by Lewis Lloyd. The Lakers are relying primarily on the outside shot. That's the outside shot in Kareem's little hook shot. With Kareem out of there, it could be a long, dry spell. Hey, prior to the Lakers-Sacramento King game here at the Forum on Thursday, April the 3rd, you'll have a chance to see the second annual Schick Lakers Legend game beginning at 5.30. Such Lakers greats, Brad Holland, Jim Jones, Kazzy Russell, Flynn Robinson, Leroy Ellis, Connie Hawkins, Lucius Allen, Walt Hazard, Rudy LaRusso. Boy, that'll be something. That's on April the 3rd. Coop makes two free throws. The Lakers trail 39 to 33. Coming out of the backcourt with the ball, we have got level. They don't like to take Samson and Olajuwon out at the same time, so it's Olajuwon's turn to rest. Out in front of the ball to Lewis Lloyd. Lloyd gives the ball to Robert Reed. He just made a basket. In low to Samson. Did he travel? No, I guess not. Cross court to level. 20-foot jumper right away. No good. Short. Rebound hit by Peterson. Saved at the baseline by McGee. He throws the ball to Cooper for a fast break. Cooper will go the distance. He does. He missed the layup, and he is fouled and will shoot two. Coop made a dazzling effort. Cooper taking that ball to the basket, and Robert Reed was the man that picked him up, and Coop knows. He knows the defender very well. Reed is a couple of inches taller and jumps very well, and Coop said, I'm taking it on you anyway. There's a play I'd like to call to the attention of youngsters at the other end that preceded the drive. Peterson hit the ball and was going out of bounds. McGee didn't know who hit it last, so he leaped over the out-of-bounds stripe and saved it on the floor. Could have been costly had it have gone to Houston, but he wasn't going to let it go out and wait for the referee. And that's a good play, the effort. Yes, sir. 
One free throw good, one no good by Cooper. 39 to 34. And coming after the rebound, the Houston Rockets. Here we go, a level around the pick by Jim Peterson. Peterson playing the post against Magic. It goes into him and he hooks one of 10. That's no good. The rebound is off. Sampson yanks it away from Green, puts it up, missed it. The rebound is up. And McGee gets it. Boy, the Lakers were lucky there. Sampson had an easy shot to Magic. Magic down the middle. Magic in deep. It'll count if it goes. It didn't go. They almost took his arm off. It went all right, right off the top of the backboard. They are really doing a job of stifling the Lakers' fast break. Really good. You can see them just turning around and sprinting back down the floor to make sure that Magic is not able to penetrate. Not one, four or five. That's right. Magic's free throw is good. As the Lakers start to get to the free throw line a little bit, they're now five out of eight. 13 out of 15 made all in the first quarter by the Rockets. Level goes out of the ball game. And Mitchell Wiggins from Florida State, the number one pick of Indiana in 83. Then he went to Chicago. Now here in Houston, third year. Free throw by Magic is no good. And the Lakers free throwing and anything to write home about. Five out of nine, the Lakers. Rebound to Peterson, who gives to Reed. Reed in the front court. Reed being pursued by Cooper. Reed's a pretty good ball player. Dribbles in deep. Stop. 17 footer is a horrible shot. The rebound is off. Volleyball by McGee, but it comes out in front. That to ball hit the rim. Wiggins. And low they go to traveling man, and that's Ralph Sampson. You know, they had not reset the 24-second shot clock. That's why they took again a, what appeared to be a bad shot. First turnover of the ball game for Houston. Magic has the ball trailing by four. Inside Worthy posting up on Peterson. That ought to be a good deal for James. He's down in the middle. He fakes Peterson out of the building, puts it up and in. No way Peterson can handle Worthy. Not many guys can when you can make moves like that, Keith. Boy, did James give a couple of fakes to Peterson. Got him up in the air, and James just rode it right onto the basket. Rebounding in the ball game, Houston 15 to 10 advantage, and as we saw a moment ago, offensive end, seven for Houston, one for the Lakers. James Worthy will look for his seventh point, try to cut the lead to one and give the Lakers their seventh point straight point. They're looking for their eighth straight victory, as Jeff Witcher told you early. Free throw no good. Neither is the Laker free throwing. In fact, it's horrendous. Looks like a dime score. They're five out of ten. 39 to 37, the Rockets, and Sampson dribbles the ball to the front court. Gives the ball over to Lewis Lloyd, being harassed badly by Michael McGee. Now out to Sampson. Sampson gives it back with eight on the clock, 30 feet out to Lloyd. Seven, six, in the air. He doesn't know how much time there is. He shoots an air ball from 10. It's rebounded by Worthy. Worthy front court to Cooper. Back to Worthy. He scores! That's the way to beat anybody. The fast break. 39 to 39. The Lakers make eight consecutive points. Now we've got Re Lloyd with it. He just took a horrible shot because he didn't know what the shot clock was reading. Now Wiggins with the ball. Stop and shoot over Magic from 20 no. The rebound is to Magic Johnson. The outlet pass to Cooper. They're running now to Worthy. He's got it underneath. Slam dunk. Basket counts. Foul. the fabulous forum as the Lakers score 10 unanswered points take away an eight point deficit lead 41 39 on the world champion Lakers basketball network Lewis Lloyd picked up his third foul on the last play Keith magic got a defensive rebound got that ball out to Cooper and he made a tremendous pass to James Worthy cutting to the basket the Lakers miss yet another free throw and Worthy missed it the Lakers in the last three minutes and 27 seconds have outscored them 10 to nothing as Wiggins handles the ball. Out of front to Reed. Lloyd has been forced out of the ballgame like Rambus was with his third foul. The ball over to the left side comes to Wiggins. Lob it into Sampson. Back to Wiggins. Screened by Sampson. Wiggins 18 footer no. Rebound is off. Grabbed at the baseline by Reed. He puts it up. Blocked by A.C. Green from behind. A.C. made a marvelous play. The ball to Magic Johnson. Magic down the middle. He's picked up by Sampson. Feeds it over to Green and back to Magic. Magic's hit three outside. 20 footers and Sampson comes out on him with those long arms, those dancing feet. Magic's 20 footer the Lakers make 12 in a row and now they lead 43 39 their biggest lead of the contest ball goes in low to Sampson double team by Magic back to Wiggins back into Sampson triple team ball stolen it's a free ball Cooper dives on his belly Cooper comes up with the ball temporarily jump ball <laughs> Coop's mad at himself he made a sterling effort to get his hands on that ball as he was 
dove outstretched to grab it, but he couldn't quite control it. Robert Reed was able to get his hands on it. No <laughs> jump. You talk about charisma on the floor. He looks good just diving. The ball is tipped. Comes to Worthy off the hand of Wigan. The Lakers are hot now because they've got their fast break going. That's what turned this game around. 43 to 39. Magic's outside 20 footer. No good. Rebound is off. Taken by Peterson. Magic thought he made that basket. Here's level with it. Oh, bad foul by McGee. Very bad foul. In the back court. 65 feet away from the other end. McGee slashing and hammering. That's the second team foul on the Lakers. You realize the Rockets are out of fouls? 7.38 left to play. You get the fast break going, a lot of things will happen. Can't stand around and play pity pat with these guys like the Lakers did in the first quarter. Here's Wiggins out top of the key. Give to Peterson. Screen for Reed. Reed's 20-footer. No. Rebound is off. Outside. And it comes down, same as the Lakers were in the first quarter. Peterson's got the ball. You've got to get inside. And that's what they were doing with Elijah Wan and Sampson in the first quarter when they had their lead. They once led to 39-31. to 31. They haven't scored a point since. Now the ball in low to Reed against Cooper. Now to Wiggins, eight in the clock. Wiggins pump fakes, he's in the air. Ten foot jumper in the way, and that's no good. Rebounds a foul on Peterson. Free throw time. Worthy. You know, in this quarter, Chick, the Rockets are one for 11. And the Lakers four for four. Boy, this crowd is really into this thing. You'd think it's a playoff game. Sampson goes out, now the Lajuan comes in. A.C. Green out, and Kareem comes back in. The Lakers in four minutes and 18 seconds, and we'll add to it if Worthy can score. Free throw is good. Have outscored them 13 to nothing. Now let's see if it can be 14. That's what it is. 14 to nothing in four minutes and 18 seconds. The Lakers coming from eight down to go six up. Is that something? Now, seven minutes left to play in the first half. Ball corner of the key to Peterson. Peterson holds it and gives back to Level. They've got Samson out. Remember, Elijah Wan is in. Look Level out in front, and that jump switch by James Worthy was magnificent. Now Level is confused. Level down the middle. Level in deep. He's not confused now. He missed the shot, and Worthy's mad because they called the foul on him. James Worthy gets his second. Remember, Rambus has four fouls. Level is one of the quickest you'll ever see as he took that ball. He was even up with James outside and put on that burst right by him down the lane. Is he as quick as Little Tater? I think so. The Lakers 1986 Super Camp headed up by Jerry West and a host of Laker players, men 30 years of age and over at Palm Springs, July 10th through the 13th, and uh, you can get information. Now, the Lakers have had a great run, but the Rockets still trail by only five as they get their first point in the last four minutes and uh, 40 seconds. Their first point. Level makes two free throws. 15 out of 17 they have made. The Lakers are 45-41 in front. Magic Johnson comes with the ball in the front court. Magic takes it into Kareem Abdul-Jabbar against Olajuwon. Swing left, shoot right, 10-footer on the way. No tip by Mickey is good. There were four Rockets, red jerseys around that basket, and only one jumping player, and that was Mike McGee in the yellow. He's already had three rebounds, one of them that one there at the offensive end. Bad pass by Level, out of bounds through the hands of Wigan. Very bad pass by Level. But no one in the league would have caught it. Rockets are completely out of sync. The Lakers' pressure defense has taken them right out of this game. 47 to 41, the Lakers are in front. Magic Johnson's got the ball. Magic hadn't been close to the basket except on that 20-foot jumper. Well, he has been shooting it so magnificently. The ball into Kareem, double team by Wiggins. Somebody's open, it's Cooper. To McGee, he's away from Wiggins, 18-foot jumper, no good. The rebound is to Worthy in the lane. He comes out of there, the North Carolinian. And his club still in the NCAA hunt. Ball thrown and kicked intentionally by Robert Reed as Magic made the pass. Six minutes left to play here in the first half. Then a special look with Jeff Witcher at the Laker dancing girls on television. Magic down the middle. He's in close now. Lays it up and in. That lane opened up and he just took complete advantage of it. 49-41. The Lakers have outscored them 18 to 2 in this run. And now there's a whistle and a foul call against Cooper. On radio at halftime, Al Bianchi, the Phoenix Suns coach, will be with Keith. And on TV with Keith at halftime, Maurice Lucas, the injured Laker. Ball coming out of bounds. Both teams from this point are out of bounds, out of fouls. Byron Scott returns for the Los Angeles Lakers. And Magic, no, McGee goes out. McGee out. Now the ball out in front. Once more to Wiggins. He looks a little nervous in there to me tonight. He's guided by Byron Scott. Go to the right side. Scott's with him. The ball comes out in front to Reed. Robert Reed. Dribble drive on Coop in deep. Plays at the baseline to Peterson. Good play. Peterson slam dunk. That's their first field goal 
in approximately, in exactly six minutes, their first field goal. That'll take you out of an NBA game. Second quarter, they are two for 12 shooting. Now Magic Johnson's got the ball. Screened by Worthy, Magic brings to Cooper, three-point country, now to Scott, three-point country. In the post, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, double-teamed a little bit. Now the full double team. A hook shot by Kareem anyway is no good, but he was fouled. Hit in the head and the face and hurt. Olajuwon hit him on the goggles accidentally. King tried to get up there and get that hook shot before Kareem could get it off. And he came down with his arm right across Kareem's face. Didn't mean it at all. Nothing dirty about it. I was just thinking as I look at Lucas over there on the bench unable to play tonight. I've never seen anything come out of a fight in basketball to anybody's advantage. Nothing. And now he sits out at least one game because of the fight. I'm not blaming him for the fight. Don't misunderstand me. I don't know who started the fight. And we'll find out from the commissioner's office. That's the only thing that will come. Both free throws by Kareem are bricks. The rebound comes down to Magic. And he said, give me a mortar hot and I'll lay some bricks down here. Now Magic comes out in front. 49-43. The Lakers free throwing is about as good as I would do. 7 out of 15. Horrible. Into Kareem. Swing left. Shoot right. 10 foot or no. Rebound is off. Hit by Worthy to Kareem. Underneath. Puts it up. Blocked by Elijah Wan beautifully to Wiggins. Left side to Level. 18 foot jumper. In and out. Spun around. Comes out. The rebound is to Worthy. Stolen by Level. Under to Elijah Wan. Slam dunk. With no effort up and back over his head. 49-45, these two clubs will be something in the finals of the Western Conference, wouldn't they? It'll either be this club or Denver, I think, in the lower bracket finals. I don't know who will come on for the top. I would think the Lakers, but who knows? Anything can happen. Now the ball goes over to Magic Johnson. Magic into the post, broken up. The pass is stolen by Peterson to Wiggins. Wiggins all the way, lays it up and blows it. And the rebound is off. Should be a loose ball foul on Peterson. There is. That's free throw time. Wiggins, when he looks at that one on the film, is going to say, how in the world did I ever miss that? Well, we got a chance here, something that Jeff Witcher told you earlier on the television leg. George Carl, the coach of Cleveland, was fired tonight, replaced by his assistant Gene Littler for the rest of Gene Littles for the rest of the year. There's a rumor that Carl was headed for the University of Pittsburgh anyway. Well, he certainly doesn't have to ask anybody if he can go. He got fired tonight. I'm sorry. I like George. You just did an interview with him, didn't you? you sure did, and I asked him about that. He said he would very much like to stay with Cleveland. Well, that option has been taken away by the boss. All right, four out of five tonight. 86% in the year. That'll get it done. Cooper makes them both. And the Laker lead is six. Their biggest lead was 49-41. Four minutes left to play in the first half. Level has the ball. 51 to 45, it's the top in front of Reed. Sampson's back in, sets a pick. Elijah Wan stays in. Reed shot. He laid it off instead of shooting it to Sampson. His 10 footer short rebound to Elijah Wan. He drops the ball out of bounds. He started to go up with it and hit it with his own knee and knocked it right out of both hands. Timeout, the Lakers. AC Green's coming in, but there's a timeout call by the Lakers. 51 to 45 is the score. 51 to 45 as we huddle with Billy Fitch and the Houston Rockets on the far side. Fitch, 15 years in the league. He was the coach of the year in the NBA at Cleveland one year, and of course he was coach of the year at Boston. One area chick that the Lakers would like to see change around a little bit. As we look at John Robinson here enjoying the game, coach of the Rams. Michael Cooper, a uh, chick in the last seven ball games, has averaged 6.3 points. And he's shooting 37% from the floor, but from the three point range, he's shooting 47% from the floor. Yeah, I'm going to tell you something, Keith. More than any other player on the Laker team, I don't worry about no, that's right. Scott. I mean, uh, Coop. He'll Michael be there. Cooper, you bet he will. In the second quarter, the Lakers, three out of 16. The Rockets, 19%. And the Lakers, six out of 11, 55%. On the year, the Lakers are shooting 52.2, the Rockets 49%. This game being televised back to Houston tonight? Yeah, it is. Uh -huh. So far, they're still watching. Oh boy, I'll say. They won't go to Gunsmoke for at least another half hour. 51 to 45, 350 to play. See, we got one more trip down there and they come here again, right? I believe so. Five games overall. We don't go back down there twice, so they got to come here once more. 
Magic's only got two assists in the ball game. Magic Johnson's got the ball after the Lakers put on that trapping defense that Keith described. Houston turned it over four times after going through the first quarter with only one. 51 to 45, the Lakers lead it goes into Kareem away from Elijah Wan, slam dunk. I cannot believe how the coaching staff of Houston allows Elijah Wan or even makes him try to guard Kareem one on one. He's got no chance. And let him go for that steal. Yeah. Kareem went for 46 off that steal attempt. Same thing. Here's a pass under to Ralphie. He's got to put it up no good, but he was fouled. Let's see who they call this on. Will it be Byron Scott front end? It will be Byron oh. Scott on the front end. 53 to 45. The Lakers lead for the second time by as many as eight points. They also trailed in this quarter by eight points. The free thrower, Sampson. He's made five of six. Six out of seven. Some good free throwing by some of the individuals in the game. Elijah Wan is six for six. Sampson is six for seven. Cooper is five out of six for the Lakers. But the rest of the Lakers are shooting poorly. Well, the Lakers, sure, the Lakers have been to the free throw line 13 times here in the second quarter. That's a lot, isn't it? All right, uh, the opponent has been to the free throw line four times in the second quarter. 53 to 47. Magic Johnson's got the ball against Robert Reed. Reed can play like Magic, forward or guard. Ball goes into Kareem, single coverage. Give and go to Magic underneath. Reverse layup. No good. Snapped off above the rim by Olajuwon. Stolen by Magic. No look pass. Kareem scores. Magic stole from Elijah Wan and made a no-look pass, didn't he, Keith? A beautiful play. Magic had a tough shot. Robert Reed right behind him. Elijah Wan with a rebound, and Magic knocked it right out of his hands and dropped <laughs> it back to Kareem without looking. And Kareem makes a three-point play out of it. He went wild. He high-fived with Kareem. He hit him on the wallet and said, hey, you're making as much as I am. 56 to 47. And the Lakers watch it go into Sampson. He turns and shoots and makes a 16-footer to put a hush on the crowd. Wow, what a play that was by Magic and Kareem. Magic's got the ball in the front court. 56 to 49. Now the ball out in front to A.C. Green. Back to Magic Johnson. In low to Worthy. Guarded by McRae. One on one. He's down the middle. Shoots over McRae from 10. No good. Rebound is off and is taken by Level. They're coming down four on four. Level stops and gives to Reed. He drives the lane. He scoops it up. Goal tending. Worthy. Boy, James took a swat at that one. <laughs> he almost knocked it in. Yeah, he creamed it off the backboard. So four straight points credited to Houston, and they are behind 56-51. 2.17 left to play here in the first half. The ball bounced off to Byron Scott. Scott gives it out above the three-point line to A.C. Green and over to Worthy. Lucas not available tonight. Now Magic's got the ball. Screened by Kareem. Magic around it. Magic to the free throw line with four on the clock. To Green, 18-footer, misses a mile. Rebound is off to Elijah Wan. Elijah Wan gives the ball to the little guard. The little guard in this case is level. Now over the left side to McCray. Fall away, 10-footer, no good. The rebound is up. Sampson drops it, picks it up. Foul. Foul James Worthy, I think. His third. Sampson has 10 rebounds in this first half. On the year, he is one of the tops in the league with 11 and a half. Lambeer is the best, 12 and a half. Samson looks at his ninth free throw attempt of the game. He gets it and he's made eight. James Worthy out and Coop comes in. 56-52, the Rockets, despite the Lakers 14 to nothing run, hanging right there on their tail. The free throw is good again, and it's 56-53. That's 17 points for Sampson. 145 to play in a period. Magic with the ball in the attacking zone against Reed. Reed's a good basketball player. In low to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Single coverage. Olajuwon reaches around, knocks the ball out of bounds. Lucky for the Lakers. Olajuwon made a good play that time in the steal, but it's the same type steal attempt that has cost him basket after basket Boy, after basket. Has. If he doesn't tap that ball, and he just barely got it, Kareem goes in for another dunk. And also, he is very close to a foul. All right, we've got 10 on the 24. The inbound goes to Magic. Underneath the Kareem, that's a bad pass, and coming out is Cooper, and actually grabbed the ball. He didn't even know it was coming. To Kareem, a hook shot is knocked away, goaltending. Sampson gets goaltending to give Kareem 19 points. Kareem going for 40 again tonight? I don't know about that, but he's going on 40. 58 to 53 is the score. In April, Kareem will be 39. The ball to Sampson turns on. Oh, yeah. oh, he ran with the ball, didn't he? Yeah, he ran with it. No basket. Ralph never looked back. He, he knew it the whole <laughs> way. 
Now pass front court to Cooper. Lakers by five. Into Kareem it goes from Coop. Kareem down the middle, eating Olajuwon up, and he makes a 10-footer. Boy, they're putting Olajuwon in a precarious position. 60 to 53. Kareem has made 10 out of 14 field goal attempts, Keith. I'm going to take some of Elijah Wan's confidence away from him. Coming into this game against this club, he had made 38 of 56. Here's a dribble drive, and kind of it goes. As Level put it up, he ran into somebody, and somebody ran into him. Michael Cooper gets the foul. That's his third. We may have to use Burke in the second half. Oh, my heavens, don't say that, Chick. <laughs> Kareem, give me a, a percentage on this, somebody, will you? Kareem is 48 of... 70 in, in the two and a half games. Anybody got a? I would. My guess would be around 67, 68 percent. You got the book over there? No. You don't need it? Nah. Okay. 60 to 53 the score. 60 to 54 the score is level made one, missed one. We're in the final minute of the first half. Coming up at halftime on Radio Al Bianchi on TV, Maurice Lucas and the Laker girls with Jeff Witcher. Dribble drive magic all the way magic. Give to Kareem magic. Score on Kareem. Boy, that was a tough catch for Kareem. I'll tell you. 44 seconds left. The Laker lead is eight. Their biggest lead was 56-47-9. 39 seconds left in the first half of our simulcast from the forum. Ball over to Robert Reed. A two-point 20-footer is beautiful at the baseline. That gives him six points. He's made three of his six shots since coming off the bench. 62 to 56, the Lakers lead it. It'll be a torrid second half, it appears. I hope nobody fouls out for either team. The ball into Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem holds it up. 10 in the 24. Kareem has it punched away again by Elijah Wan to Reed. Coming on Magic. Reed comes to the left side. Gives to Elijah Wan underneath. He puts it up and in. Nice play. Who says he can't play the big fella once in a while? Ten seconds in the quarter. Now Magic coming the other way. Seven seconds. Magic knows it, I think. Out to Scott. I know he a does. Three-pointer. No good. Rebound fumbled away by Green. And Sampson grabs it and hurls it toward the other end. Just in case. The Rockets shot only 40% in the first half. 19 of 48. The Lakers were 26 of 42. 62%. Free throwing 20 of 23 for the Rockets. The Lakers are poor. 10 out of 18. That could cost them before this night is over. Rebounding. The Rockets big. 27 of 18. Turnovers. The Lakers had two more than the Rockets. Magic Johnson in the first half. Bound up with five assists. The best rebounder for the Lakers was Magic Johnson with five. By the way, Kareem now in two and a half games this year against this club, two and a half games, has made 49 of 71 shots at 69%. That is unbelievable. All right, here we go. Magic Johnson coming out of the backcourt. The Lakers are up by four points. They did lead by nine. They did trail by eight. Ball into Kareem for the double team. Back to Magic. Into Kareem. Broken up by Sampson. Saved by Sampson. Tight rope back by Sampson. Gets it out to Lloyd. Passes it down the floor to Level. Level puts it up and blows it. The rebound is fumbled away by Worthy. Worthy loses the ball. A shot underneath. Missed. A lucky break for the Lakers as Lloyd missed a cripple. Now the ball to Worthy to Magic. Magic in the front court down the middle. Lays it off to Kareem. Everybody seems to be out of kilter. And three seconds called on Magic in the lane too long. Both clubs look like they took a sleeping pill at halftime and the effect hasn't worn off. 30 seconds gone. 62 to 58 still the score. We've got Level snapping the ball over to Lewis Lloyd. Lloyd into the post to Sampson. Out of front to Level. Level brings it 20 feet to the right side to McRae. McRae brings it back to Level. A 21-footer straightaway will be way short. It is off the lip of the rim to Magic. Length the court pass out of bounds. He missed Worthy by a half a mile. Uncharacteristic of Magic on that long outlet pass. 62 to 58, the Los Angeles Lakers are still in front by four. Level's got the ball. We've played one minute in the quarter, and neither team has scored. Neither team has looked good. Level dribbles around a pick by Sampson. Level looks out in front where Lloyd wanders. Nothing there, so here's a two-point shot. That's good. Level just ran out of seconds on the shot clock, and so he put it up standing on the three-point line. 62 to 60. The Los Angeles Lakers are ahead, but by two. Pass in low to Worthy. Dribble drive. Feeds it to the free-throw line to Green. AC's 15-footer. Beautiful. Nice pass by Worthy. Good shot, Green. That's his first basket and four shots. Here's Sampson's 15-footer. That's good. The left side, right-handed. Sampson. That gives him 19 points. Kareem has the same number, doesn't he? 23 for Kareem, I'm sorry. Looking at the wrong line. 64 to 62, the Lakers lead it. Scott looking into Kareem. Takes it in there. It's punched away by Sampson. Comes back, luckily, to Scott. 
Back to Kareem. In the lane, a hook shot at 10. That's on the way. No, the rebound is to Sampson. Outlet pass up into the front court goes to Lewis Lloyd. He comes the distance. He puts it up, and then we're tied at 64. That's what they love to do. Have Sampson throw the ball all the way to midcourt, just like Bill Russell used to do with the Celtics. 64 all. Remember the Lakers led 56-47. Here's a ball almost stolen from Magic Johnson. Great defense being put on by the Rockets. Down the middle of Kareem, he's there. Did he travel? No, there is a foul call. Let's see who the foul's against. It appears to be against Sampson, but we'll see. It could be on level. It is level. Front end of a double team. Kareem will shoot a couple. And level making a stab at the ball. Didn't get it. He got the arm, and then Sampson got the block. Kareem has made only one of four free throws tonight. Make it one of five, unless it bounces in and it bounced in. A Don Nelson shot. Hit the heel, went straight up five feet, fell right down through the center of the cone. The second one hits the front and crawls in. Those two, I think he'd smile about. 66-64. The Lakers are in front by two, and Kareem's got 25 points. Remember, he had 46 against this club in the last meeting. He's averaging 40 and a half against them coming into this game. Now the ball goes in low to Elijah Wan. He turns, he fakes, he tries to shoot, and Scott takes it away from him from behind. Byron Scott double teaming with Green. Over to Worthy. Oh, what a great play by Byron Scott. Now to Magic Johnson, in low to James Worthy. Worthy looks back to Magic. Worthy gives to Magic. He fakes the shot from 21. Three seconds in there, a half an hour. It was A.C. Green. Four Laker turnovers in this quarter. And we've played three minutes and 44 seconds. And they've already got four turnovers. That's a good way to dissipate a lead. But they're still up by two. With the ball, we've got Olajuwon. Olajuwon's second game since the knee injury a month ago. McCray from outside a 20-footer. No, the rebound is to Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. That's his fourth rebound of the game. Front court to Scott for the 20-footer. That's good. Well, that's a valuable weapon in the Lakers' arsenal, that outside jumper. Byron has now made five out of eight shots, all but one from distance, 68-64 the Lakers, as the ball comes over to Lewis Lloyd. Lloyd stands with his toe on the three-point line, gives to level. Out of front once more to Lewis Lloyd. Lloyd to the free throw line, shoots over Scott from 15. No, the rebound is off to A.C. Green. He gives the ball to Magic. The defenders are back. That's the way they were getting back in the first quarter, too. Now Byron Scott's got it. Green's going to join the party. Magic's playing the post. They give it to Magic. Charging. Magic. Whoa. Referees are Bruce Alexander and Paul Mahalik. And Magic is questioning the eyesight right now of Alexander, or at least the judgment. That was, really, that was uh, really nothing. Anyway, it's the way the referee saw it, and that's the way it stands. That's five turnovers in this quarter in three minutes and 40 seconds for the Lakers. Now the ball goes in low to illegal defense. Magic's not guarding anybody. Look where Magic is. And look at James, both of them. Well, you can't have five turnovers in three minutes and 45 seconds still have the lead, can you? But the Lakers have. This shows you that the Rockets aren't doing much better, except they're not turning it over. The ball over to Lewis Lloyd. Dribble to the corner of the key. 16-footer short. Rebound, Elijah Wan foul. Elijah Wan on Magic's back. That's three on Elijah Wan. When he goes after the ball, he goes. It was a spectacular play. Team from way outside, jumping up right on the back of Magic and throwing it down from outside, down and through. So Magic Johnson comes the other way. Magic looks to Kareem. There's single coverage there so far. Out above the three-point line to James Worthy. Now bad pass by Worthy. That's six turnovers for the Lakers. Six turnovers in four minutes and six seconds. 68-64. We've got the ball belonging to level. He throws it out of bounds. Well, I'll tell you, the rest of the guys in the Western Conference playoff picture would like to see these two in this first five minutes. Bill Fitch gets up, covers his eyes, says, I can't look at it anymore. John McEnroe is here tonight with his lady, Tatum O'Neill. John is kind of in exile right now from the tour. Gene Wilder and Gilda, Gilda Radner. Radner. They're here from everywhere. I don't blame them. It's a great game. Is that in the game? 
the whole game. All right, thank you. 68-64, the Lakers. Magic with the ball out in front of the weave. Gives to Scott. Now to Magic. And low to Kareem. Double team. Kareem out to Scott. Drops the ball. Digs it out from between his ankles. Six on the 24. Into Kareem. Broken up by Sampson. Beautifully. And the ball taken by Lloyd. Lloyd front court. Seven turnovers for the Lakers in four and a half minutes. Here's a jump shot by Level. No good. They're going to get caught up, though. This club's going to hit one pretty soon. A 20-footer. No good. Rebound to McCray. And the Lakers are really playing a pathetic third quarter. Soft as melted butter. Now out in front, we've got Level with the ball. Lewis Lloyd handling it. He and Level are having a terrible shooting night. Just awful. So far in this ball game, I'll give you some facts on those statements. 3 of 13 for Level. Here's a jump shot by Level. He missed that. He's 3 of 14. The tip up underneath. Off the head of Green and out of bounds as it was kept alive by McCray. Level in the game has made 3 of 14 shots. Lloyd has made 2 of 10. That'll give you five for 24. Wow. Jump shot at the baseline is good by Ralphie. Ralph Sampson. He's got 21. Good thing they got that little guard out there. 68-66 is the score. The Los Angeles Lakers by two, and they're very lucky to have the lead. They have not played a good five minutes at all. Magic Johnson's got it. Over to James Worthy. Looks into Kareem. Where else? Kareem's got it away from Sampson, and a foul is on Olajuwon as he made a jump switch. Sampson tried a suicidal. Kamikaze steal missed it. Went right down the smokestack. You can't imagine why the Bill Fitch is letting these guys continue to go for that steal. Elijah Wan gets his fourth. By the way, Dancing Barry is going back to New Jersey, Brendan Byrne Arena, and perform for the, uh, the Navy game. Is that right? That's what he just told me. Huh? Wearing a sailor's cap tonight. He had it on backwards. Kareem's free throw. Gives him one for one, and he's four for eight on the night. 69-66. The Laker lead is three. They led by four at halftime. Out in front, Lewis Lloyd. This guy is a better shooter than his mark indicates. Baseline to McCray. McCray underneath. Oh, the reverse layup is brilliant. That's an NBA play. 69-68. The Lakers by one, and Magic goes the other way. Driving down to the northern goal to our left. The Scott at the baseline, away from level temporarily. Into Kareem. Turn to the right. He's got a five-foot jumper that he missed. The rebound is to Worthy. He puts it up, and they block it. I think it was Olajuwon. It's to level three on two. To Lloyd. Right side to Sampson. That's a beautiful way to pass that ball. 70-69. to The Lakers finally surrender the lead. And the crowd comes behind the Lakers now. Magic front court. Magic to Kareem. Kareem's got a little guy, McCray, guarding him. Kareem's hook of six is off balance. Missed it. Slam dunk worthy. Lakers go back in front, 71 to 70 in a thriller. The ball out to Lloyd. Cooper will be in when it's dead for Los Angeles. Lucas is not available tonight. Here's Lloyd dribbling. Lloyd all the way. Nobody picks him up. Here comes Kareem to block it. Kareem's on the deck, but he's not hurt. The ball to the baseline to Lewis Lloyd. He pump fakes. He puts up a three-footer. No, the rebound is off to Magic. Magic four on two break. Magic's in the middle. Magic gives to Green. Green scores underneath. A great play by AC. Magic didn't know who to give it to. Worthy or AC. It was a tough decision, and he gave it to the Rook. 73 to 70. The Lakers lose the lead and then come back with four of their own. The lead by three. Level. Takes the ball to Lloyd. He's in deep. He's all the way. Kareem blocked the shot. But there's a foul on somebody else, I think. I don't think it'll be on Kareem. Kareem's only got one. It's on Scott. That's what I thought. Kareem hit the ball perfectly. Kareem had a tantrum out there. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the world champion, Lakers Basketball Network. This is Prime Ticket, covering the best in professional and collegiate sports. It's your season pass to year-round sports action. It's Prime Ticket. Free throw by Lewis Lloyd is their first attempt of the third quarter, isn't it? Yes. And their 21st make and 24 tries. The next one's no good. The rebound to Elijah Wan on a long bounce. He turns. He shoots a 10-footer that's in and out. Hard yeah, break. Rebound yeah. knocked out of bounds by Level. Boy, I'll tell you, I've never seen Lewis Lloyd have a game this badly. In this quarter alone, he's one for seven shooting field goals. So in the game, he's two for 12. Magic Johnson's got the ball in the front run. He made the first basket of the game, if you remember, on the tip-off. Ball to Kareem, swing left, shoot right. And the 13-footer goes right by the hand of Sampson. 28 for the big fella. And the Laker lead is four again, same as it was at halftime. Ball into Sampson, he's going to get him back. He's away from Green. Here comes Green to block it. Now to Magic, to Worthy, all the way. Lay it up, it's good, he's fouled.
unbelievable block shot by Green. Boy, AC had to time it perfectly, and he got it. What a beautiful play. Magic gave it to James, and James, with the defender back there, said, I don't care. I'm taking it to the basket. He easily could have been called for charge, he too. He could have been. Level was right there. James just jumped right over him and ran him off the floor. A three-point play, so the Lakers make eight unanswered points in a row after falling back 71-70. They lead 78-71. And Lloyd has got the ball. Lloyd's down the middle. Lloyd's eighth shot of the quarter is good. And it's now 78-73. This is a very entertaining game. Magic Johnson's got it. And with this house jam-packed like it is, it's almost playoff fever pitch. You got it. Magic Johnson's got it. Now Kareem's got it. Swing left, shoot right. A 13-footer again. That's 30 points. He's not too bad. Here's a dribble drive by level. In deep level. Bounce the ball badly level. Ball knocked by Worthy. Slides, dives. Oh, what an effort. What a supreme effort. Worthy with the Lakers leading by seven. Dove from the 10-second line and flew 15 feet into the VIP feet. Well, you talked about playoff fever. That's exactly what it was. That's an unbelievable play. James could got killed on that play. All right, live action now. Level the other way. Shot blocked by Kareem. Free ball to Worthy. Four on one. Four on one. Cooper all the way. Puts it in. No basket. Offensive foul. Boy, that's a costly play. Coop had all the options in the world to give it up again. That's his fourth foul in addition there, too. Now it's 80 to 73. Who wanted to slam dunk that one? Cross court pass comes to level. Level's guarded by AC Green, who just distinguished himself with a block of his career. Sampson did it to him twice in the first half. Sampson's 22 footer is good. Sampson just inside the three point line straight away. We're keeping an eye on referee Bruce Alexander. There's something wrong with him. I think it's the calf of his right leg. We've already got two refs out for the year, Bill Saar and John Vanek, and he conferred with Dr. Curlin during a recent timeout. Now 80 to 75. Here with the ball is Magic. In low to Worthy. Back to Magic. Three-point country to Coop. Coop is fouled. The foul is by level. That's free throw time. The Lakers have only one team foul. Bruce Alexander is playing hurt. He's got a very bad leg, but he's going to try to gut it out. Just another reason we need three officials in the NBA. You might wind up this game with Mahalik working it alone, and that's an impossible task. And that's what he's saying to himself. Hang in there, Bruce. The only thing is you don't want to worsen the injury. If he's torn, anything in the calf muscle area could worsen. I think Dr. Curlin told him to go ahead. All right, the free throw by Coop is good. So is the next one. And the loss items of the Slaker lead is 82 to 75. That's with 249 left to play here in the third quarter. Playing at the forum. The Lakers have beaten them 18 of the last 21 games. Here's a dribble drive by Lloyd. 18 footer, no good. The rebound is off to Kareem. Maybe that's 19 out of the last 21. I think it is. Yeah, 19 of the last 21. Wow. 14 straight down in Houston. 82 to 75. The ball passed by Magic. Hit the chest of Green and bounced back to Magic. The Lakers getting some rub of the Green. Ball into Kareem. Give and go to Magic. He's there scoring. The Lakers by nine for the second time tonight. 2.15 left to play here in the third quarter. Elijah Wan is out of the ball game. Samson's still in there. Now we've got Reed with it. They don't want to use Elijah Wan too much. He just came back from that leg injury last night. Reed down the middle, runs with the ball. But they're going to call a foul, pushing. Kind of a belated call. Out of the game, Lewis Lloyd. He's got to go out. Boy, he's colder than a delicatessen turkey. Larry Spriggs coming into the ball game. He's had 20 points in his last 42 minutes that he's played. He's played very little lately. He didn't even get in the last game, I don't think. 84 to 75. He started a few games, five or six. Now here's the ball in the front court. And it belongs to Steve Harris, a rookie from Tulsa University. They're going to try him at guard. Dribble drive Samson down the middle, Samson. Bank shot by Samson. No. Rebound is kicked out of bounds accidentally by Green. Green didn't even know where the ball was. He was facing one way. The ball came off the arm of McGee the other. And uh, Green accidentally kicked it. 24 on the 24 second clock. It's into Samson. Double, triple teamed. He turns, shoots anyway. Banks a six footer. No, the rebound to Kareem. The magic. No chance for the break. Look at that transition defensively. Beautiful. And the Laker lead nine here in the third quarter. They open the quarter leading by four. Magic Johnson in the simulcast looks for Kareem. Gives it to him. Kareem down the middle. Punched away by Samson. Go get it, Larry. Look at Spriggs. 
Well, it's their ball, but he. Well, so realizes, what's the difference? Yeah, six, only six seconds to go on that shot clock. That's an absolutely great school play he pulled. Look at that. That's the magic. Magic all the way, slam dunk. See, that's why Larry did it. He was setting that play up. Yeah, he was setting it up. You can set up the loss of a championship game with a play like that. 86 to 75 is the score. The Los Angeles Lakers big. And here with the ball out in front, Reed, top of the keys, all alone, so he's going to shoot it. He hit it, 21 feet out, 86-77. And Magic Johnson goes the other way. 55 seconds left to play. What happened on the play when Spriggs didn't go after the loose ball is that he thought something had happened that probably didn't. And you just can't do that. you got to go get the ball. Kareem, a hook shot. And that's good. And he's got 32 points again tonight. 88-77. Now the ball out in front to Steve Harris, 6'5", 195, Tulsa. Over to Reed, 21-footer. That's good again, right in front of the Laker bench. He's keeping him in the ball game now with the outside bombs. He's got 10 points. Magic's got 10 assists in the contest. Magic scoring, 15 points. Magic whips the ball to baseline to McGee. The Lakers up by nine. Certainly nothing decisive against this club. We're in the final 15 seconds of the quarter. The 24 second clock's at five. Ball to Kareem. Turn, fall away, 18 footer. No, if that goes, everybody goes. Rebound is up. Harris has got it. Seven seconds left. They had evacuated the joint. 20 footer by Harris, no good. Two seconds. And here is a whistle. And what do we got? Peterson. Called? Loose ball foul, Peterson, with two seconds left. Wow. Tough break for the second year kid from Minnesota. Just trying to do his job. And that sends Bill Fitch to the back of his neck and says, boy, what do I have to do? Getting a headache. I think we got a report on uh, Bruce Alexander. Evidently, he's having back spasms. That's why he's bending over and grabbing the back of his leg then and pulling on it to so try to stretch the back muscles, huh? Boy, mm -hmm. that hurts. All right, Larry Spriggs comes down along the free throw line, and Kareem goes to the line. Kareem free throwing tonight has not been effective. I got him unofficially at four out of eight. Boom. This no good. The Lakers as a team are now 16 for 26. Kareem's 10th free throw of the game is his fifth make. 89-79, Sampson from backcourt is three of a go. If it didn't go, it didn't get there, a two-hand chest shot. So the Los Angeles Lakers outscore them by six in that third quarter. Through the first three quarters, the Rockets had a big one in the first quarter, 37 points to the Lakers, 31. And then the Lakers came back, 31-21. And in the third, they outscored the Rockets, 27-21. At the end of three, it's Lakers, 89, the Rockets, 79. That's amazing to have nine turnovers in a quarter and still pick up six points on the opponent. Houston, Very amazing. Houston, only 38% in this ballgame so far. That's the difference right there. Jump shot by the rookie Harris is good from 18 feet. It's 89-81 in the Lakers. We start the fourth quarter with Rambus, who went out of the game with four fouls early in the second quarter coming back. Kareem is out of the ball game. Rambus is playing center against Elijah Wan. Ball comes over to the left side to Spriggs against Sampson. Out of front to McGee. Now to Magic. Magic's pass deflected and knocked out of bounds by Robert Reed's deft hands. We've got seven on the 24. We're a half a minute into the final 12 minutes. The ball brought into Magic Johnson. Magic in three-point country. Throws it away. Reed tries to save it and can't. Lands in some of the VIP section over there. Nobody hurt. Those two ladies are whispering now. Wasn't he cute? Yeah. <laughs> I don't say that. My husband will hear you. Yeah. Here's the ball to Spriggs. Spriggs down the middle. Two on the clock. One on the clock. He blows the layup. Gets it back. Blows another layup. The rebound is off to Samson. So Spriggsy underneath for two quick shots. Samson. Clears the ball to McCray. And McCray cross courts to Reed. Shooting well from distance. There's 21 footer. No good. The rebound to Magic. Outlet pass to Spriggs. Coming in deep on Reed. Down the hey, ground. Larry. Reed all the way. Lay it up and in. Little crossover dribble on the full run. 91 to 81 as Spriggs gets one. And the Lakers by 10. The 11 minutes left to play here in the fourth quarter. The Lakers trailed at the end of one, but they've led it ever since. Now Harris, good-looking kid out of out of uh, Tulsa University. Reed takes the ball to McCray. McCray to the base for the 18-foot jumper. No good. The rebound is off to Sampson. Look at that arm. Throws it up and down and in. 91-83. That's 27 points for him. Kareem on the bench has 32. Now the ball to Spriggs, left hand, 20-foot jumper, no good, and an ill-advised shot. 91-83. 
And the Los Angeles Lakers surrender the rebound, and the ball goes over to Reed. Reed's 18-foot jumper, that's short. Rebounds off to McCray. He turns, he's underneath, he scores. He knows Kareem's not there. They all know Kareem's not there. And the Laker lead is only six. How much longer can Riley have the luxury of a Kareem on the bench? I don't think very much longer. The ball over to McGee. McGee out in front of Spriggs. And of course, you can't wear the big fella out either. We still got 10 minutes to go in this contest. Now we got the dribble by Magic. Magic looks down the middle, gives it to McGee. A fall away, six footer on the way, short. The rebound is out to Elijah Wan. Elijah Wan says he was hit behind the head, and he was on the rebound play. Now McCray front court. McRae and uh, the Houston Rockets can pull to within four as Reed is double teamed. Reed loses the ball, dives on the ball, jump ball. Tying him up down there is Larry Spriggs and McGee. Spriggs' neck was in an awkward position. He it might sure be was. slightly shaken up. That floor doesn't give much when your head hits it. And Spriggs is shaken up. And boy, when he lets you know he's shaken up, you know he is. He's a very strong yeah. person. Tough cookie. Magic needs one rebound for a triple-double. He's got 15 points, 11 assists, 9 boards. Spriggs tips the ball. And McGee cuts in front of Olajuwon to get it, even though Olajuwon had him with a ribcage. Magic Johnson with the ball. Magic is picked up by Robert Reed. Worthy's posting up against McCray. Magic comes out in front. Worthy in the ball game with 17 points. Jump shot by Magic from 20, not close. Foul, Spriggs. Very obvious foul, jumping in the back. That's the first team foul for either team. 91-85, the Los Angeles Lakers leading by six. And here with the ball in the front court. As Kareem is on the bench, Harris hits a 20-footer. That little kid comes in, the rookie. Little kid, 6'5". 91-87. They got to go to the captain now. Got to get him back in there. The Lakers are one for six shooting in this quarter. The ball in to Worthy. They do miss that sky hook, don't they? Down the middle, fall away. Ten-footer by Worthy. Won't go. Nice rebound by Sampson up high. Pull down pass. McCray has got it. Underneath is Olajuwon. The pass is horrible by McCray. And off Olajuwon's hand and out of bounds. A lob pass. A nice soft lob pass would have been perfect. It sure would have. Kareem coming in, 113 points in his last 106 minutes against his club. That'll get spectacular. it. Spectacular. Yeah. That'll get it. Michael Cooper at the sideline is going to come in, but he can't come in now. 91-87, the Lakers. Kareem is in the ball game. And Magic comes down the floor. He's going to the northern goal of our left. It's a simulcast. And here's a screen by Kareem. Magic around him. Magic all the way. Puts it up. Block. Beautiful play by Elijah Wan. Here they come. Four on one. Sampson handling. Give the ball to Reed. He's hit hard. He scores anyway. Oh, that's a hard shot that he took in the Adams apple from the elbow of McGee. See Ralph Sampson dribble that ball out of traffic. Heavy traffic to bring that ball down on the fast break. Handle it in the middle in a three-on-one. And make the perfect pass, too. And finish it off just like Magic would. Magic got by Ralph on the outside, and Elijah on with a great block, and then Ralph right between Kurt and Kareem and bringing it down. McGee looking him in the face. Come he on, keeps the ball. ball well out in front of him. Nice play. All right, they can come to within one. The free throw by Reed is no good. The rebound is off, and Rambus beats Elijah Wan to it. If there's anything I notice about Elijah Wan, he's not quite as cap quick as he will be when the leg is perfectly well. Eight and a half to play. In the fourth quarter, the Lakers have made one out of eight shots and underneath the ball to McGee, and he's followed by McCray, and McGee will shoot a couple. That does not count as a shot attempt. Green with a beautiful pass, dropping it down to McGee, cutting down that lane. Cat quick. And McCray definitely got to getting the body contact on McGee. Mike McGee, a questionable free thrower, proves why the question is there. He's a 66 percent. Well, you just say that because of that loud noise we just heard. Now he's going to make this. Boom. Yeah. That's the noise he wanted to hear. I got intuition. 91 to 80, 92 to 89. The Lakers by three. McRae with the ball at the three-point line. He's against Worthy. Worthy hadn't scored. Uh, let's see what we've got. Ball stolen by Rambus and a foul on Harris. Worthy has scored five points since intermission. Second team foul, same as the Lakers have. Harris got his first foul. The little guy from Tulsa was really excited about that steal, but it didn't come off. And here we go with Cooper dribbling the ball. Magic Johnson getting a breather. Rambus gives the ball to James Worthy, the goggled man. Worthy dribbling the ball against McCray. These clubs play it tough, but very clean, I think, Keith. 
Worthy dribbling the ball, stops, takes it into Kareem Abdul Jabbar, punched away by Sampson. Great play, individual play. And it goes to McCray. Cross court over to Harris. The rookie fires and gets his third. Baskets is coming on in four shots. Pat Riley's seen enough. Boy, that little kid looks good, but the block shot by Olajuwon set it up. Dancing Barry has really got this crowd going. He's leaving Wednesday for wherever Navy plays. It's Brendan Byrne Arena in New Jersey. They're going to play Cleveland State, and he's going to entertain for the Naval Academy. That's great. All right, the Lakers by one. 7.37 to play in the fourth. The ball into Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Kareem holds it up, gives to Cooper for a three-point shot, but he doesn't want it. To Kareem. They knock it loose. Sampson did. Kareem gets it back, shoots. Let's see what the call is. A foul is called inside. It's going to be in the front end of a double team, and it's going to be Steve Harris. So Kareem, who's been shooting free throws very poorly, will go to the line. Magic stays on the bench. Byron Scott comes in to replace Mike McGee. Kareem is a 50% free thrower tonight. That improves it some. He's a 77 percenter on the year. Tonight he's 60 percent, six out of ten. Bill Fitch in an argument. He's the coach. Technical yeah. foul. He's in an argument with Paul Mahali. And Mahali gave him a chance to quiet down. He said, take it easy over there. So the Lakers can make three points in this situation. Now this is a very big ball game for Fitch and the Rockets because they are in first place in their division, and their division in the Western Conference is the Midwest. They lead Denver by two starting today's play, but Denver's already won, so if the Rockets lose, they'll only be one game ahead. Cooper's going to shoot the tee. Denver's been closing fast. Oh. This is about as badly as the free Lakers have shot free throws in a while, at least. They're a good shooting team on the year. With the free throw on the technical now missed, Fitch says, sits down and says to the referee, hey, see, you were wrong. Shouldn't have called it on. Kareem's second free throw, that has to have a bounce, and he got it. So the Lakers are 20 of 32, and that percentage is exactly 62%. 94-91 Los Angeles, 7.20 to play in the fourth quarter. McRae has got the ball in front of the Laker bench. McRae to the dribble. Bounce out in front to Harris. He's not afraid to shoot the 10-footer. It's on the way and good. Where's he been all night? Boy, he has made four out of five shots. Ball into Michael Cooper, the point guard. Magic getting a long, long rest. Seven minutes left to play. I don't think Magic will rest much longer. Now the ball to Rambus. Rambus hasn't played much tonight. He loses the ball to Olajuwon. Here comes Coop. There goes Elijah. And Olajuwon kicks it out of bounds. Hit him on the toe. That's a great hustle play by Michael Cooper getting back. At least he put a little pressure on Olajuwon on that play. Made him think about it a little bit. Very little. Olajuwon just dribbled it off that size 13. 94-93. Cooper's got the ball a magical return when it's dead. Here's the ball bounced to Scott. Scott in the air for the 17-footer. That's good. He hasn't played too much tonight, but he hasn't played too badly, I'll tell you. He's two for two in the second half. And it's 96-93 Los Angeles leading it. In, Elijah won a 360 turn, shoots over Kareem from 10. No, the rebound is off to Rambus after Sampson hit it. Now the ball to Cooper. It's a four on three break, but they can push it, but Coop might stop. He doesn't shoot it. From 20. Timeout or delay a game. It's delay a game. I thought the Lakers were going to be taking their mandatory timeout here. 98-93. 6-12 to play. It's been a tough ball game, and if you think these two play in a playoff, it won't be tough. You got another thought coming. It will be. Now the ball, baseline, off to Harris. He's got another open shot, but can't get it because of a jump switch by Rambus. Now at the baseline to McCray. McCray looking inside, gives out a front to Reed. Reed around Coop, 20-footer. On the way, good, nice play. He got Coop up in the air. 98-95 is the score, and Cooper comes the other way. Magic is reported to come in. So has A.C. Green. Now the ball over to Scott. Scott to the dribble, his third shot of this half. Is on the way, no, the rebound is to Elijah Wan. Elijah Wan made a dangerous handoff to Sampson with Kareem there. Pass the other way to Robert Reed. Now out of front three-point line, it goes to McCray. To Harris, punched away by Kareem from Sampson. To Scott, Scott will go the distance. Here he comes, slammed up. Kareem freed it 
up, knocking it away from Sampson as Sampson has done to him twice tonight. And Byron put on a burst of speed. Didn't he, though? He went away from Harris yeah. and Reed. All right, 195. Reed down the middle. Lays it off to Olajuwon, surprisingly. Olajuwon back to Reed. Back into Olajuwon on Kareem. He turns, he shoots, he's fouled. I think it'll be Scott, the front end, not Kareem. Let's wait and see. They might call it on Kareem. Kareem's got three. Out of the ball game as Magic returns with 15 points, 9 rebounds, and 11 assists. Out goes Coop, and out goes Rambus. Elijah Wan will have a couple. The foul is the fourth of the game on Kareem. Each club with three. Each club with three timeouts left. To my recollection, neither club has used a 20 in this half. Jawan's free throw is perfect, and so is he. Tonight I got him in the first half six for six, and now he's seven for seven. Second one wobbles in, shakes out. 196, and Magic's got a triple double with a rebound. Magic will trade that triple double in for anything you want. Just a W is all he wants. Into Kareem against Sampson. Loses the ball out of bounds. Last touch by Kareem. Good pressure by Sampson. Kareem didn't say anything. 20 turnovers for the Lakers. 12 in the second half, 9 in the third quarter. 196, the Lakers lead at 435 to play. Here's Reed's 20-foot jumper in and out, back in again. Oh, it looked like he was going to get tapped. 198. And Magic Johnson coming the other way in a low-scoring game. Against each other this year, the Lakers average 118 against them to 103. They average against the Lakers. The ball to Worthy down the middle. 10 foot jumper and away. No. Rebound to Kareem. He's got it. Worthy's hurt. Gets up. Kareem scored and he's fouled. Worthy really took a pop in the head when he shot the shot. But the way it turns out, they'll take it the way it is. Kareem got a will. rebound basket. Kareem inside of. Sampson that time and Steve Harris. Sampson gets a technical foul in addition. Kareem going to shoot the technical? He is. Sure. Magic said, don't want to shoot it, Cap. Yeah, you've made seven out of 12. You're getting warm now. Now he's got two more to shoot. Sampson has three fouls. The Rockets are out of fouls. The Lakers lead by five. It gets frustrating when a team beats you 19 out of 21 times. Kareem makes three straight free throws, including the technical, and the Laker lead is 104-98. 4-11 left to play. And here's McRae with it. They need Reed to fill up that hole for them. He's got the ball. He'll come underneath. He throws it up. No, but he was fouled. Violent contact. Reed has helped up. A.C. Green gets the foul for the Lakers. From this point forward, both teams are out of fouls. And Reed at the line. This game is coming to you live from the fabulous forum. Lakers basketball is brought to you by Maxell, manufacturers of premium audio and videotape. Maxell, the tape for sophisticated equipment. By Andy Granatelli's Tune-Up Masters. It's where experience makes the difference. And by the American Express card. Don't leave home without it. Free throw by Robert Reed is good. Reed took a year away from basketball, gave up a salary of over $200,000 so that he could be involved in his religious beliefs. His mother is an ordained minister. He makes them both, and it's 104 to 100 right where we started. A four-point spread we started the second half with. Four minutes left to play. Magic Johnson with the ball. Around the pick by Scott that jars the teeth of Reed. What a pick by Byron. He stops and throws the ball out of bounds. Maybe, maybe he thought Worthy was going to cut to the hoop, but it was a bad pass, Scott. That's the trouble with those no-look passes. 104 to 100 is the score. Harris, 18-footer over Scott is good, and the Rockets claw back. In one minute, they outscore the Lakers 4-0 and trail 102-104. Magic with the ball. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the ball game with 39 points. Now the ball into Kareem off his fingertips and out of bounds, but maybe, yes, Harris touched it last. Whoa. It was a billiard shot. After Kareem touched it, the rookie Harris reached for it and knocked it out. 325 to play, but only nine on the 24. I wonder if the Lakers know it. Maggie's got it to Kareem. Swing left, shoot right. He knows it, a 16-footer is good. 
wins in a row against this club, 40 points or better. He's got 41. Now the ball over to Harris, a gutty little rookie. 106-102, he acts like he wants the ball, Keith. Ball in low to Olajuwon. He turns, he puts it up, he scores it, despite the fact he was triple teamed and Worthy got a hand on the ball. He had to hang a little extra time. He shot that ball when he was coming down. His knee appears to be perfect. 106-104, just under three minutes to play. The Los Angeles Lakers in front. Fourth quarter, Magic dribble drive, Magic down the middle. Two shot foul. Going to be calling Robert Reed. Boy, a second step sooner. That could have been charged. Yeah, you see Bill Fitch's reaction to that call. Come on. Timeout is called. 106-104. We're at the fabulous forum. Prime ticket television and KLAC on our Laker radio network. Frank Pollock and Marty Bancroft, our technical directors there. And, uh, of course, Susan Stratton is directing. And uh, Jerry Romano is our producer. Jimmy Fell is our statistician. Magic Tom Johnson. Vick up here with us. Sorry, Magic with a triple-double tonight. 15 points, 10 rebounds, 11 assists. First one in quite a while. Phil Palomo, whose modern-day club got beaten overtime last night. He's assistant coach there. And he's up here getting his details of all the other games that will pass along to you when this one's over. 108-104 as Magic calmly steps up and makes two. He's got a triple-double, including the 17 points now. 243 to play. Ball out to Harris. Harris looks like a good perimeter shooter. In low to Sampson, turn, shoot, 12-footer, no good, rebound. Hit by Elijah Wan, flies to Sampson. He throws it away to Magic. Trying to get the ball too hurriedly to Elijah Wan. And Sampson made one of the few critical mistakes he's made in this whole game. 108-104. That's a big turnover. Now let's see what the Lakers can do about it. Can they get a deuce out of it? Byron Scott with the ball. Can Nine and the 24. Kareem? Yeah, they can get it to Kareem, and he's got it now. Gives it to Scott. A 20-footer by the kid. It's good. He's got 16 points in the ball game. He's four out of five in the second half. The Lakers by six with two minutes to play. Elijah Wan turns, shoots, 15-footer. Nice shot. Double team means nothing to him. Huh? All he thinks about is his old man cement factory over there. 110-106, 154 left to play. Magic with the ball in the front court. Magic against Reed. Magic stops. Takes it into Kareem. This, he's away from Sampson, and Sampson holds it. Free throw time, Kareem. Kareem spending a lot of time at the free throw line tonight. Oh, Going back for two more. Sampson's got four fouls now. Once Kareem beats Sampson, Sampson's smart enough at least to grab him, so he's not going to make that easy layup. This is Kareem's 15th and 16th free throws of the uh, game. He makes it. 111 to 106. Kareem has got 42 points. 43. That gives him 89 against this team in the last two games. 112-106. If the Lakers win this game, Kareem will be on the post-game show, radio and television with Keith Erickson. Now the ball out of front to McRae. McRae gives the ball to Robert Reed. Lobbed into Elijah on a high pass. Oh. Throws a spear. Throws up a right-hand hook. No good to rebound. So Reed rather do Green. And Green is fouled by Elijah Wan. That's free throw time for AC. That's a very smart man to foul. I don't know whether they did it intentionally or not. But if they did, it's a smart play. It shows they're reading the stats. Because Green, as you all know, and as he knows, is not a good free thrower yet. Will be one day. Worthy was not a good free thrower his first year in the pros, but Worthy now is a 77 percenter. Elijah Wan got his fifth foul. AC has played very well, and he makes the free throw, and the Laker lead is seven. Kareem is 16 out of 24 from the floor tonight. Both free throws good. Nice shooting by A.C. Green in the pressure. There's only a few tickets available for Portland's invasion here on Tuesday night. We'll have it for you on radio and on Prime Ticket TV. All right, 124 to play. We start on radio with the Laker Line talk show at 6.30. McRae has got the ball, and they got to get it up in a hurry. Goes to... Sampson, turn, shoots over Kareem, a bank of eight, no good, rebound, Elijah Wan puts it up, no good, but he was fouled. A.C. Green. A.C. is learning a lot tonight, and he is really responding to the tutoring that he's getting. Admirably. Yes, he sure is. Elijah Wan, who can fly, came inside that time, got that offensive rebound, and A.C. kept him from slamming it. Sent him to the free throw line instead. 
Kareem this year in the three games up to this point has made 124 points against this club. 89 in the last two, 35 in the first one. That's an average of 41 points against this team, Keith. That'll play. Keith is going to try to have him on the wrap-up show, and I'm sure that he will. Elijah on free throwing, missed them both. 114 to 106, 109 to play. The Lakers have the ball game in the refrigerator. The door is closed, the lights are out, and the eggs are getting cool. Magic Johnson with the ball. Screened by AC Green. He sets it well. Magic's around it. Magic has a triple. He runs with the ball. <laughs> I thought Magic was going home. <laughs> Taking his ball and leaving. Oh, was he walking. 114 to 106, final minute of the ball game. The Lakers have won another one. And the ball to Reed, a three-point shot by Reed. is beautiful from 26 feet. Few of those have changed things in a hurry. 114 to 109, 45 seconds left to play. The eggs aren't so cool yet. Magic Johnson's got the ball. <laughs> the heck, they're not. Magic with the ball. And Magic and the Los Angeles Lakers winning for the second time this year. Eight straight games. Foul Olajuwon, and he's out of the game. Magic Johnson will shoot a couple. This is the Lakers' 51st win. It's Houston's 26th loss. Houston on the road now will be 10 and 22. The Lakers at home will be 29 and 5. Olajuwon fouling out of the ball game. Elijah won with the disqualification the ninth time in 54 games. Magic free throw is good. 115 and 109. AC Green goes out. He should get and does get a tremendous ovation. The best he's ever had as a pro. Boy, he played. Kareem goes over to yeah, shake him. That was a nice gesture. Timeout is called by the Rockets. They trail by seven with 36 seconds left to play. And of course, on the sideline, Billy Fitch wearing a handsome brown suit, working with Carol Dawson, his assistant in the gray suit. And about all they can think about now is going home. We hope that you're enjoying tonight's game. We'd like to remind you that we'll be right back here along our radio network and on Prime Ticket this Tuesday as the Lakers host the Portland Trailblazers. That's on Tuesday. Don't forget it now. We'll talk, start it all with the Laker Line radio talk show at 6.30. Magic's first triple-double since November 29th, Jimmy Pell's telling me. Wow, that's a long dry spell. He's had only three all this year. You know, Kareem in seven of the last eight games against this Houston team has been over 30 points. There's something special about these guys. What did you just say, Keith? He's what? In the last seven out of eight games against Houston, Kareem has been over 30 points. Wow, is that something? And over 40 in the last two. Over 40 in the last three. Well, average, I mean. Average-wise. 41-point average the last three games. The only three games this year. So the Lakers now have beaten them, and I'm assuming they're going to beat them tonight. 20 out of the last 22 times. With Denver winning tonight, Houston leads them by one game. Could make a big difference in the playoff picture. Which of these two teams, Denver or Houston, gets the number two spot in the drawing? Magic Johnson, Worthy, Cooper, Byron Scott and Green. You know, Scott has been a very quiet star in this ballgame. He's been a very big factor hitting those shots from the outside. He's got three big ones here in the fourth quarter. Okay, now they'll try to set up a three-point play. You say what good's it going to do him? Well, it might be good at a future date against any team, maybe the next opponent. Here's the ball. Back door bounce pass to Harris. That's a nice play they ran. He scores. It's exactly why they put the play in, just to see if they could run it. Boy, did they run it, and did they burn the Lakers with it. 116 to 111. Magic breaks the press. Magic accidentally got hit in the face by level. He's okay. Cooper can bring the ball. Lobs the ball to Magic. Ooh. And Magic takes the ball over to Byron Scott with eight on the clock. Back to Magic. He dribbles in a circle. The rookie Harris can't catch him. Magic down the middle. Magic all the way. Spin it up. Missed it. Dipped up under there by Scott. No good. Magic gets it back. This ball game will be history in three more seconds. That's it. 